Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is another Patreon only video. Uh, what I want to teach you today is the soundboard. Soundboard in Visida. Let's first demo and see what is soundboard. There is a feature in the Visida that the agents can call uh, people and when they answered, they can play a pre-recorded file. There is a web panel that they can click on it and then a pre-recorded file will be played for the customer. Let's see the demo to get an idea of what is it. I log in uh, as an agent that I have already enabled this feature for this demo. So let me log into my test campaign. I'm answering my call and then I'm calling a mobile number. Okay, I am, I'm answering the call. As you can see, it's a live call. And now if I click on the script, here you can see a soundboard. I just uh, created a sample with four recordings. Uh, let me mute my uh, phone. As if there are four uh, sample files here. If I click on them, If I uh, scroll to that uh, file, you can see it's yellow. If I click on it, it will play for the customer and whenever I want, I can stop the audio. So uh, this is a useful feature for some call centers that they have a lot of repeated uh, answers to the customer. For example, what is the address or they want to have a special greetings that they want that file to be played. So you can record all these uh, sound files and then bring it into this soundboard. And when the agents want, they can click on the script and then they can select and it will play for them. And whenever they want, they can stop the audio. This is the soundboard and we will learn in this video how to create such a soundboard. Okay, now that we know what is a soundboard, let's go and enable a soundboard and design a soundboard. Log in as admin into your VCDL. Select admin. Uh, select system settings. Search for sound. You need to enable this option, agent soundboards. Set it to one and also central sound control active, set it to one. And the sound web server is IP address of your server if you are using uh, one server setup. So these are the three options that you need to check and click submit. So again, just search for the sound. You need to enable agent soundboards and also central sound control active to one and this is usually the correct IP address so you don't need to change it but just check it is if it is your web server IP address and then submit after you have enabled the soundboard so if you go again to the admin here you will see audio soundboards click on the soundboards click add a new soundboard entry Give it a name. Let's name it, for example, um, testing soundboard. Of course, the ID you, you don't need to put a space. Let's name it sample. Sample soundboard. The soundboard name you can use a space for the ID, you, you can use a, a number or if you are using a name, don't put any space in the ID. Notes can be the same. User, you need to create a user. I will tell you what, how you need to create it. For now, let's uh, put API user as soundboard and API password the same because this is an API only and 
we just know that. Of course, you can use any other Hezlinar password. For now, use API user soundboard, API password, again soundboard. And admin user group set to admin. Uh, in order, uh, the next step is to create a user. So go to the users. Let me open a new tab here. And create a user. You can create, a, I have already created here. Let me delete it so that you know how you are creating a user. So you need to go to the users, add a new user. User number put at soundboard and the password the same. User level put eight or nine. User group admin and submit. So username and password. Of course, the password you can set to better password and then you can change it in the previous step as we have explained. But let's assume that we put the username and password as soundboard. Submit it. And then uh, at the end of the page, agent API access you need to set to one and API only user set to one because we don't want uh, someone with this user password to log into our system. And this is the API only user that Visitor used to communicate and create the soundboard. So set these two options and submit. Now go back to your uh, soundboard. We have already set the correct username and password, so we don't need to change anything here. Here, you can design the menu. As you can see here, there is a preview page. Uh, let's create and then you will get how this preview page works. First of all, give it a name. Let's uh, name it openings, opening sounds. Don't select anything, just uh, write opening sounds and submit. Set the type to header or header 2 and submit because I want uh, and name it as opening sounds or openings. Let's name it openings and submit. You can see I have the openings here because I want to have a topic for my uh, sounds. For example, hello or how are you, all of this we put it in the category of openings. But I don't want this one to be there. So here uh, there is an audio display. Change this to the name and also you can see what is this name because I just want the name to be shown and also I don't want the number. So we can use height numbers. So just put height numbers here as well and submit. Now you can see name and height numbers is just showing openings. Here is my category for the sound file. Next step is to add the actual sounds file. Imagine you have already uploaded the sounds file. I think you should already know how to upload the sounds file. If you don't know, put a comment and I will create a video for it. Uh, but if you have already converted and uploaded the sound files that you want to play for the customer, here with the chooser, with the audio chooser, you can choose that sound file. Let's say, for example, we want to, uh, let's say this is our hello file and submit and now give it a name. For example, hello and submit again. You can see now we have a hello and this is a file that will be play for the customers. If I click on it, it will play and I can stop the audio. Let's add another file. So choose again. Imagine we have a file we have uploaded and the name of that is, for example, uh, how are you? So just select that file, how are you, and then name it. Let's name it, how are you, and submit. You can see I have a topic here and then I have my files. Also, uh, imagine we have, I want to add another category, greetings. So put greetings here. Just submit. But greeting is not a button. 
is a header so select to header 2 and submit again and of course you need to put a name for this greeting put a greeting and submit you can see we have a greeting here as well so it's another topic and I want to put for example two files under these greetings so if I choose let's say for example this is another file and the greeting was just submit it and give it a name for example the greeting was uh, uh, let's name it greeting let's say welcome for example and submit it you can see the welcome is now under the category of the greeting let's add another file uh, imagine transfer there is these are the files that you want to play for the customers submit again give it name let's say this is the greeting 2 this is a file that we know uh, it's it, another type of greeting submit and you can see now we have two sound files under the category of greetings you can change this design for example uh, you want to show this greeting in uh, another column here with this rank and horizontal you can change it for example let's uh, instead of putting greetings under this opening let's put it beside this uh, openings so we can just change this row to one the next one we can choose to two and the next one to three because these three files we want to bring it here so they should be in the same rank as the same three files and submit we can see now we have openings and greetings here it's all about the design if you just uh, play with it you will get how this is working this is the basic uh, method of visitor to design the menus that's it our uh, soundboard is ready the next step is to create a script you need to go to the script uh, you need to create a script so you need to add a new script and then give it a script name let me just copy because I already have it so you need to click on add a new script give it a name name it sample soundboard for example sample soundboard a script name the same sample soundboard a script comment sample soundboard and then set the user as admin and just paste whatever I have put here this is a, a script that uh, I think I need to create a video on how to write this script but what you need to do for now is just copy paste this uh, text that I will put into the uh, video in the same uh, post and just change this ID to the name of your soundboard for example here our soundboard is sample soundboard just change this one just change the soundboard ID and submit so I will put this into the uh, same post as a, a word file and you can copy and paste exactly as what I have done there and then just change the soundboard ID and submit next step is to activate this soundboard for your campaign so go to your campaigns here I have just one campaign test campaign then click on the detail view and then search for a script here is a script and select by default yours should be select to none uh, change it to the sample soundboard the, sa the script that we just created so change the script to the sample soundboard and submit it that's it now if we log in let me just log out from here and if I log into the campaign of course pay attention you cannot see the script here the script will show just when you are in the call so let me answer my Zoiper let me call the mobile number 
I answer the call as it is live. Uh, let me mute. If you go to the script, you can see this is our sample soundboard. And if I click, when I'm on them, it's yellow. It won't play for the customer. But if I click on it, Thank you for calling. it will play for the customer. Also, you can hear that. And if you want to stop, you can click on a stop to stop the file. So that's how we set soundboard in Visitor. If you have any question, please put in the comments of the post. Thank you and goodbye.